Turkey's Yanka Onuk JV launched its new armed unmanned surface vessel Sankar during a ceremony in Istanbul on June 7, 2022. The head of the presidency Turkish of Defense Industries, SSB, Professor Ismail Demir, was the chief guest of the ceremony and delivered a speech about the importance of such projects. We want to become one of the leading countries in the world in the field of unmanned ground vehicles, USV, by bringing our experience and achievements in armed unmanned aerial vehicles, UAV. We have many studies on armed USVs, Sankara USV is one of them. It is critical for us to have USVs working in an integrated operational environment to prepare for the operational environment of the future. In a press release, SSB highlights Sankar's multifunctional mission capabilities to accomplish missions in a less risky and more cost-effective manner. The armed USV Sankar, designed to perform unmanned reconnaissance, surveillance, surface combat, and mine countermeasures missions, will minimize this risk with the concept of unmanned use in missions dangerous to humans and allow many tasks to be performed more cost-effectively with the useful cargo. Sankar was developed by Yanka Onuk and Havelsan Partnership. It will feature the Havelson Network Enabled Data Integrated Combat Management System Advent. This is a new generation command and control system designed to meet the needs of a force-oriented, network-centric concept of operations rather than a single ship. Sankar is the third USV launched by Turkish defense contractors, following Ares Shipyard Metexan's armed USV Yulak and Dearson Salvo. Turkey's Seafine Shipyard is working on the Constellation class USV, which is also expected to be launched soon. Specifications of Sankar Length, 12.7 meters Displacement, 9 tons Max speed, 40 knots Range, more than 400 nautical miles Seaworthiness, Sea State 4 Endurance, 40 hours Weapon payload, 12.7 mm Remote Weapon Station, RWS 2x2 two two UMTAS or LUMTAS missiles. Sensors, navigational radar, EO sensors and collision avoidance system on a telescopic mast dubbed MILMAST. 